Hey guys, so uh, on my bench today we have an 85 watt MagSafe 2 uh, power adapter. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, so um, yeah, let's go. So the first thing I do is, um, of course, I if you try and plug it in, it doesn't show any sign of any signs of life. But, um, just leave it unplugged for at least an hour or so to let the capacitors inside discharge. Um, they won't kill you if you open it, but uh, th they'll definitely make you jump. So next I'll check the connector, so to see if all the pins are good, and if there are any signs of burn marks or anything else. So this thing looks actually fairly good, might need a bit of a cleanup, but all the springs are there, and the contacts are fine. So um, let me also check the cable, so I see here it's... Uh, it's a bit open. It's not. It's not a big deal. We can cover that up uh, quite quickly with some uh, with some tape. Um, so usually, if you slide your finger across, you can feel when there is uh, yeah, like this. So this is a bit worse actually. So it's just green inside. Uh, disgusting. And uh, right here as well. We have some damage, so probably in this case it's better to replace the entire cable, and that's probably what I'll do, what I'll end up doing, uh, because I should have a spare cable for it, but uh, we may we may as well just try to repair it uh, anyways. So let's check if the cable is the problem. Um, so let's see if we have a short on the, um, on the output. Super simple. So um, this outer magnet here is ground, so let me just put my multimeter in continuity and uh, let's check. So the outer one, it's, it should be ground, yeah, and this one here should be the voltage pin, which is also shorted, so we have a short on the cable. Exactly, so uh, you can actually now just go ahead and try and fix it up in two ways. You can either cut the cable here and see if the short is on the cable or inside the power supply, but in this case, since it's broken right here, uh, I think that the best way to go to do it, um, the best way to troubleshoot it is to open up the, the adapter. So opening it up is actually uh, quite simple. So you usually clamp this in a vise. Then I pick up uh, a set of pliers. I just put them in here and try and, and open them so that it will crack the, the plastic here. And that usually uh, leaves a fairly clean, clean result. So we can actually try and do that without the vise. So let's see. Uh, think yeah it, it tries to escape so you need to you, I need to clamp it down so I'll be back uh, I'll be back in a second okay so that was uh, that was easy um, again just applied pressure like this and it uh, it opened up pretty much immediately so that was actually almost too easy so now we can finish it off There we go. You can see it's pretty clean, so when you glue it back, nobody will notice it. Okay. So here's the, the power supply itself. There's our cable. There's also a fuse inside here. It's right there. You can actually check that if it's still good or not. Usually on those newer supplies, it, uh, it always is, but... Uh, that doesn't hurt. Yeah, that's good. Uh, they usually go into protection before blowing the fuse. So uh, let's just separate it from the other half. Usually if it doesn't want to come out, just pick up a, a flat blade screwdriver, insert it in and just apply some pressure. Uh, you don't want to apply too much of it because you may risk damaging the, the plastic and then it won't close up properly. So, it's actually better if you do it uh, on this side here. Of course, now it does not want to collaborate. Okay. 
All right, so inside it's off. We just, now just need to remove this uh, gray plastic thing. Usually, if oh, it's coming off, if we go ahead and push it towards the inside, you'll free up. There we go. So there is the other half, and this is the power supply. So we got some shielding around, and it's also covering the um, the two contacts for the, um, the two pads where the cable is soldered in. Now in this case, with this model here, I think that with with some luck, I can bend the plastic and get and get get to them without the need of uh, without the need to desolder the shielding, which would be kind of nice. Um, on the other hand, you can also remove the the tape that's right here. You can slide one side of the shielding off and then desolder this thing here or lift it off and then slide the other one so you, you should be left with the bare board. But in this case, I think I don't need to do that. So let me actually check that we still have a short right here. And we do. So let me just turn up the, the, power, the soldering iron. And... Uh, Let's see how many disasters can I make. So I usually tin them a bit before. So in this case, now I think I can just suck it. Or you, you could actually just pick up a pair of pliers and just pull it, pull the, the wires directly off. In fact, I may, may as well just do it. So I just grip it. Heat it up. And wiggle it off. So. Sometimes they do get stuck, so they may require some some extra force. But it's usually, there we go. So that's one. Can actually check if the short is uh, is still there. I hope it's not. Nope. So the short is on the cable. <whistles> Wonderful. So let me actually. So we can actually play around with it for a second. So let me just turn on my thermal camera in the meantime. Because we can find exactly where the short is. So as for the other side, um, let's see if I can bend the plastics up. Yeah, beautiful. So actually I think it's the first time that I'm repairing a, a light on uh, power supply. Because the last one that I did was uh, a lot more complicated and uh, I actually need to remove the shieldings to to replace the cable, or in this case, just to to repair it. So I just pick up my pair of pliers, just get down, and just get it off. Okay, so I can actually now just suck up the solder that's on the pads, and there we go. Now this uh, unit here is ready to accept a new cable, or we can repair this one if, uh, if it's possible. So I'm just picking up the cable. Let's see if we can find where the short is. So, um, let me just turn on my thermal camera, hook it up to my power supply. Okay, and well, now let's have some fun. So I got my thermal camera on. Of course this thing is already a bit, yeah, it's already hot because, sorry, you can see that. It's already hot because the, um, it's where I desoldered the wires, so. Well, if the short is there, it, it will just get hotter, I guess. Okay. Power's on. I just get a couple of amps going flowing through it. Uh, six amps should be more than enough. And the part that it's heating up is actually right here. Yeah, as you can see, it's heating up. So actually, it's getting fairly warm. It's around the forties. So you can see that the rest of the cable is uh, is cold. 
so we can actually chop the wire right here and extend it inside and we should be good so the, the problem is not right here which is where the cable is also broken so we can tame our power supply back down turn it off if you want to replace the entire cable you don't need to go that far but uh, we have the tools we have the toys so why not oh yeah it's actually yeah, it's fairly hot that's kind of nice so i guess i can now chop it right here i should be fine now at this point the short should be on this side here so we can check on that yep and we shouldn't have any shorts on there so check on the outer side huh, we still do interesting so it looks like we have another short on the cable so I guess this one here was the first one that, uh, that I found interesting so it looks like it was double shorted huh. Those MagSafe 2 supplies, my god. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so we can strip the wires and uh, start all over again. It's probably inside here. I can, I, you can see here it's a bit uh, it's a bit bulging. So it maybe got twisted or, or something. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty positive I will replace the, the entire cable on it. Just because I have a, a spare one, not because... Uh, I don't want to repair it because I'll probably still repair it and uh, use it for something else but because I have the option to because I have a spare cable around here so why not use it so I'm just strip it hook it up to my power supply again and let's see how far we go this is starting to get fairly fun actually should make a game, catch the short. It's oh, kind of nice. So let's see how far we go this uh, we get this time around. Uh, well, there is actually no short any no short anymore. So actually, ah, so is it fooling me? Yeah, no short. What? What's going on? I don't know if it grounds by default, maybe? That's kind of odd. Because there's... Oh, it seems to be fairly happy now. Interesting. What is going on? They're probably not making good contact. That's what, what's going on. No short. Yeah, there's no short. So I, I was probably... Or there is. No, there still is. So I don't know what's up with that. We can actually test the cable. Uh, it's not that hard to do. So let me just tin the leads so it, they'll make a better contact with the with the power supply. And let me actually sit down because it's it's quite late and I'm quite tired, which is also why I'm making so many mistakes probably. It's way too late. I need to go to bed. So let me just actually tin the leads. Of a crappy job actually because there's still the the fibers inside uh, it would have been a better idea to burn them off before applying the solder but honestly I just want to do a test so I don't care if it, uh, if it looks sloppy that looks really sloppy <laughs> that really that looks really bad Yeah, that sucks. Ah, 
I guess it's good enough for the girls I go out with. Or at least for a test. Ah, you can get it. Uh, I've seen much worse, so why not? So, um, we can set the, we can hook it up. Of course, following the correct polarity, that would help. <coughs> I can set the power supply to to fifteen and a half. No, what sixteen volts? Twenty volts, four point two five amps. Really? It's twenty volts? No, I think it was around sixteen, fifteen. Let me check another map. Uh, another one. Yeah, the max two is twenty volts. Huh? I guess you learn something new every day, don't you? So I've got here a test board. It's mostly dead. I don't really care if I break it up even more. So let me just fire up my power supply. I'm going to set it at 15, 16 volts. Yeah, it's good enough. So let me just plug it in. No light. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Now we have a light. So it wasn't plugged in properly. So I guess that the cable is good, so I don't know why there. Ah, it was measuring short before. Of course now, because it's not intelligent, it will remain on, so we need to turn it off to reset the circuit and turn it on again. Damn it. So we have to wait for it to turn off. I'm just try to short it out. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know why, it should uh, come off. So this is a really intelligent head, I guess. But uh, if we plug it in, it should become green. Yeah. Of course you can see a thing. So it's red. Plug it. It will first get green. And then red. Okay. Of course this machine is dead. It is. So I guess that we can try and... Um, well, I can show you what, I, what what you could do. I'm going to replace the cable anyway, so because this is... got some tears into it. But what you could do is... You can drill a hole. But you can remove the two wires, of course. Then you... Is it out of focus? Oh, there we go. You can remove the two wires, then just drill a hole. So we can remove also the all, all the other residue from the wiring. Thread this one here in. Put some glue on the other end, and then just uh, solder it directly to the to the PCB of the power supply, and you're done. So it will look pretty much as good as new, and uh, you've saved 80 euros. So I'm getting way too tired. This video is already going. All but wrong, so thanks for watching and uh, probably make another one. Got a couple of them that need to be replaced, need to be repaired again, so. Alright, good night.